the rhetoric coming out of the right wing in regards to abortion is becoming more and more frightening. Very recently, the supporters of right-wing terrorist Scott Roeder, who assassinated Dr. George Tiller in his own church for performing late-term abortions, decided that they were going to have an auction, and they were going to auction off certain items on eBay to benefit Scott Roeder so he could hire a more expensive trial lawyer so that they could try and get him off the hook, all right? He figured that it worked for O.J. Simpson, why not for Scott Roeder? Hire a very expensive trial lawyer and get him off the hook. Well, eBay refused to hold this auction for them. And, you know, it's well done, eBay, okay? Thanks for having a conscience. Um, there's no way that this right-wing terrorism should be tolerated at all. And the people who think that the killing of doctors is justified in any way need to be <laughs> need to be dealt with harshly. Um, it's ridiculous to think that any woman going in for a late-term abortion would do it for any other reason than to save her own life. And that's exactly what these doctors do when they perform late-term abortions. It's to save the life of the mother. And what these right-wing extremists fail to recognize is that every person on earth has the right to self-defense. If someone is going to kill you, you have the right to prevent that by killing them if necessary, regardless of the intent. So babies are innocent. Yeah, they're innocent, but if they threaten the life of the mother, the mother has the right to defend herself. If it's her life against the babies, I think the mother has the right to choose saving her own life. Okay? I don't think there's any right that's more fundamental than that. Now, I also happen to believe that the courts and the government have no place in that decision making. I think that any woman making that decision has got all the evidence they need to come to a conclusion and come to a decision. There should be no burden put on her to present any such evidence in front of a courtroom because courts are imperfect. Justice is imperfect. And, you know, it's very difficult sometimes to prove a case in court. And it's sometimes the evidence that a woman has is, is only presentable to her own conscience. Um, so, so I don't think that any woman should be should have to bear the burden of presenting a case in court in order to justify having an abortion for any reason. Okay, I think it's entirely her decision that the woman will make the right choice and that the court system is will never be perfect enough to make the right decision in those cases. So I think a woman has a right to her own body, a right to self-defense, and it's unfortunate when abortion occurs. It's, it's unfortunate when it's necessary. It's a tragedy. But why pile upon the tragedy by making the decision even more difficult? Or worse yet, forcing women to die because of the inflexibility of the legal system. So, I think the Fanaka right wing is in desperate need of re-education. I think they've been framing this thing in a particular way for far too long, and their rhetoric is just getting more and more extreme. And I, I don't see an end to it. You know, the, the right wing terrorism is 
is reaching a fever pitch. And we have to deal with these people harshly, very harshly. Because they're terrorists and they're trying to intimidate doctors. That's what they're doing. That's what terrorism is all about. Using violence for political ends. And I think they need to be dealt with very harshly and severely. So that's all I'm going to say. Thanks for watching.